An unfortunate incident coming to light as a pothole has claimed yet another life in the state of Karnataka. 44-year-old Sukreet allegedly lost his life due to a pothole in Bengaluru. Now, struggling to navigate through a pothole, his vehicle wheel stuck in the pothole where he met with an accident. He was seriously injured. He is now uh, being admitted to, uh, in fact, he was admitted to a nearby government hospital and he was later shifted to a private hospital where while undergoing treatment at the private hospital, he ended up losing his life. Very unfortunate incident, once again uh, being reported out of Karnataka. This from uh, the IT hub of the country, that is Bengaluru, where a 44-year-old had to lose his life. All this because of pothole. Remember, pothole menace is something which is rampant in the state of Karnataka, especially Bengaluru, which boasts of being the IT capital of the country. However, when it comes to roads in Bengaluru, this is something which has become known for the killer potholes that Bengaluru keeps reporting about every now and then. Uh, Ritu is uh, joining me on the broadcast. Uh, Ritu, another life lost because of these killer potholes, uh, you know, when it comes to the state of Karnataka. Is there a word from the administration? Is there something being done? Because earlier in the day, we also had uh, the ex-Chief Minister Siddharamaya tweet about the civic ap apathy in the state of Karnataka. Yes. So first, we're talking about this incident. You see 44-year-old Supreet who was heading back to his work after dropping his daughter to a college. That's when his wheels, you know, in fact, uh, hit the pothole there. And then he allegedly, in fact, uh, uh, you know, meet, uh, meets with that uh, accident over there on that uh, at that stretch particularly. And then he was immediately being rushed to a government hospital. Hmm. And later point in just a day, again, he was being shifted to a private hospital. So this incident took place at Sunkat Kate, which is in the outskirt of the Bengaluru on 18th of August and on 22nd of August is when he lost his life in fact while undergoing the treatment at the private hospital mm. but yes as you rightly mentioned out you know there has been the civic apathy incidents that the Karnataka has witnessed time and again every time there is this common lines that are been repeated from the officials or authorities for that matter is all about the blame game lines that we have got to hear so that's that has been the you know uh, kind of words that we have heard from the uh, officials authorities as well as now the people are also sick of it now because civic apathy does not seem to be waking up at all because previously as well you see uh, related to the pothole issues there has been a survey that was been conducted from the BBMP that is Bruhat Bengaluru Mahanagara Palike who is responsible to take care of the city in fact and to look after, uh, look after the infrastructure in the city. Now with all that during the survey as well the kind of a potholes that they had pointed out around the 1600 potholes they said that most of the potholes are being filled. Now, what exactly happens right after that you know you see these uh, civilians coming up and again filing the complaint saying that they are uh, they are facing this issue regularly because all those potholes that were being filled in just a uh, uh, you know mild spell of a rain again the pothole comes up on the road it is all because of the substandard work that the civic body has undertaken so these are be, these are been the kind of allegations that the civilians have made against the civic body but yes we have shown couple uh, shown couple of incidents from the bengaluru city remember the last one that we spoke about was the Bengaluru Mysuru highway where you know people were in fact confused whether they are driving on a pothole or on a road which is completely mm -hmm. with a pothole so that's the kind of a confusion and the dilemma that the people are living in the city so and right after that when CNN News 18 started reporting that incident there was a, 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 a outcome immediately and a reaction from the state government Right, now here as well you see now mm -hmm. the uh, farmer Siddharamaya too tweeting about this whole incident and speaking about the kind of uh, uh, you know the kind of a uh, commission charges that have been taken over from the state government. So yes of course the state government has been under scanner already regarding the 40% commission charges. So but yes this is another incident that the Bengalurians in fact uh, have witnessed but yes now we will have to see to what kind of a reaction that the civic body is going to give. Of course no doubt there will be again a blame uh, you know game that will be played but yes we will have to wait and see the, what the authorities have to say at this. Right, Ritu. Nama Bengaluru in shambles. That is what the leader of opposition in the state of Karnataka, Siddharamaya, had gone ahead and tweeted after this loss of life was reported from the heart of Bengaluru. Uh,